free to believe what you want to believe. Just don't affect somebody else in a negative way. Really, that's what it's about. Matter of fact, hell with it. I'm voting goats for 2020. <laughs> Come on with the goats. Hey, girl. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the homestead. Welcome back. Well, it's talk about it Tuesday, so I guess we need to go ahead and talk about it. Let's go on and talk about the elephant in the room today. Come on, the 2020 election. Woo! Now I went back and forth. I ain't gonna lie if I even wanted to make this video or not because there's a lot of sensitive people out there in the world, but uh I'm not going to make a political video on, you know, which side I'm on and, and which side I'm not. Because in all honestly, the one side that I am on is America. I'm an American. And I love the fact that I have the right to vote. And I'm definitely going to exercise that right today. And just because I don't believe what the next man believes does not make that man a bad person to me. I believe that everybody needs to have more compassion for their neighbor, you know, and understand that just because you don't see things the same when it comes to political doesn't make the other person a bad person. Everybody wants to judge nowadays, you know, well, oh, well, they're right or they're left. And, you know, my opinion's what's right and your opinion's wrong and all of this. No, that's not the way it works. We are free to have our own opinion. That's what it's about. If everybody was the same, if every animal was the same, if every person was the same, if every tree was the same, this world would be boring as beep. I ain't going to say it on here. We're going to keep it kid friendly. But this world right here would be extremely boring if everybody believed the same thing. If everybody looked at everything the same way. If everybody looked the same. If if everybody's religion was the same, we would have no diversity. None. It'd be crazy. It'd be very, very boring. Who would want to live in that? I don't. I don't at all. But today's going to be crazy. There's, there's no doubt. I, I mean, I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. But on, on days like this, on election day where, you know, there's going to be a lot of divided people and everything, you know, I am really thankful, so thankful that I'm a part of the homesteading community. You know, the homesteading community is not about being a Democrat or a Republican or an Independent or anything like that. It's about being a community. It's about loving thy neighbor, you know, and doing whatever you can to help each other out to prosper. You know, so let's set all the right and left and all this other crap to the side and let's get back to community. Let's get back to loving thy neighbor, you know, no matter if they believe what you believe or not. I have a strong belief that you should be allowed to believe whatever you want to believe as long as it's not hurting nobody else. That's what it's all about. Be free to believe what you want to believe. Just don't affect somebody else in a negative way really that's what it's about matter of fact hell with it i'm voting goats for 2020 <laughs> come on with the goats i couldn't be happier to have goats on the homestead you know and with everything is uh divided as it is today and everything else i, I don't want to make some you know rant video and i don't want to you know try to get people to see my views or their views or anything like that I just want to keep it upbeat and positive, you know. I love talking about it Tuesday as it allows me to be able to just kind of talk what's on my mind. And, of course, on Election Day, I mean, it should be on everybody's mind. Every single American that is of age and legally allowed to vote should be out there today exercising their right to vote. Exercising their right to 
put down on a ballot what they believe in. What they believe is right. But they shouldn't be judged for it. So, for anybody that's watching this video, anybody, whether you're on the right, you're on the left, if you're independent, if you're in the middle, or if you don't even believe in any of it, love your neighbor. Get involved with your community. Get involved with the kids. Kids are our future. Help them realize the importance of loving thy neighbor and the importance of community. You know, you could be the strongest person in the world. I, I, you know, I'm a pretty strong-willed person myself, and, and, and I like to think that there's really not a whole lot I can't accomplish that I set my mind to. And I kind of take pride in being that type of person, being very independent and strong-willed and everything else. But I can only accomplish so much. But what I can accomplish with a community of people that are caring and cares about my needs and cares about other people's needs, it's not even close. It's not even close to what I can accomplish by myself versus having a community behind me. So let's get back to community, guys and girls. Let's do it. Let's talk about community. After this election, email, text, pick up the phone. Somebody that you know that has a different belief than you. And that maybe there's been a lot of tension here lately because of the uh, politics and the election coming up and stuff. And just reach out to that person. Be the bigger person. And just say, hey, I realize that we don't see eye to eye when it comes to politics. But I still care for you. And I still want the best for you. Let's start that. You know, they're always doing all these trends on YouTube and TikTok and Snapchat and all this. All these challenges, you, you know, crazy challenge, like the Tide Pod challenge. Y'all remember that? That's insane. That's insane. Let's do a different challenge. Let's do a challenge where we challenge ourselves to be better people. And to reach out to our neighbors and our community and do something nice for one another. You want to change the division that's going on in this country right now? That's where it starts. It starts next door. It starts with a friendly gesture at a grocery store. Seeing an elderly person struggling with their groceries. Take the couple of seconds that it takes to stop and help them load their groceries. If you see somebody that is broke down in a parking lot somewhere, Ask them do they need any help. Just ask. Nine times out of ten they're going to tell you that they're fine and they got it. But just by you stopping and asking. If, if you can help. Will make their day. Will turn their day that's not going so well better. Because they're going to believe. That there is hope out there in the world. Just the other day. I was changing a tire. And I was almost done. And a guy stopped and he was probably 80 something years old. I was at a medical office whenever I was doing it. 80 something years old. And he stopped and rolled down his window and asked me, did I need any help? And it took me back. It took me back. Here's this guy that's 80 plus years old. Didn't look like that he could honestly help me much as far as physically goes, but it didn't matter. He took the time to stop, roll down the window, and ask me could he help. That meant everything. That took a bad situation that I was dealing with at the time and kind of took me away from that and just made me realize that there's still good out there. And what this video is about today, guys, I mean, y'all might unsubscribe from my channel which i hope not i love all of y'all it's just about loving your neighbor getting back to community isn't that what homesteading's about isn't that what everything's honestly supposed to be about community well it's going to be a short one today 
I'm, I'm not going to just keep going on a rant right here, but I, I will tell you that uh, I really hope that everybody is out exercising their right to vote today. Love your neighbor. Get involved with your community. And teach your children to love your neighbor and to love their community. And this world will be a much better place. I love every one of y'all. God bless America. And come on, let's go homestead.